Hi, I'm Peter Cowan, the Bee Whisperer. I am here at the Good Shepherd Food Bank Yard today, and I am in the middle of putting honey supers on my hives. As you may recall, I put, changed all of the hives to single brood chamber management about 11 days ago now, I think, 10 or 11 days ago. The honey super, the deep, second deep, at the time, I had between nothing and 60% of those upper stories complete with brood and that sort of thing. I put a lot of, found, there was a lot of foundation in them. Coming here today to find them somewhere between uh, six frames built and eight frames built, and in some cases, nine frames built. So I'm working on that and uh, getting their next honey super on. So I would say that on average, my second deeps look like they've got in the order 30 pounds of honey. They have uh, been backfilling the spaces and continuing to build the comb. And right now I'm just in the process of getting supers on before they run out of space. And I can see one or two of these colonies are getting pretty full of bees as well. So things are looking promising. I'm gonna get some deeps on here now. I mean, get some honey supers on. <laughs> Just to see how things are looking. You can see we're getting lots of white comb being built here in the new foundation. And the frames that were already drawn out have lots of honey in them. So I've got lots of honey in this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and probably that one as well. That's fully drawn out there. We just need to move a frame of foundation here, which is to some extent getting worked on, but we'll just move it into the middle here. You see all that honey that's in there now. this frame of foundation to get built and I'll draw that out good and fast and we're ready for a honey super to go on so let's put a honey super on it Predominantly, I'm putting on supers that are mostly drawn out comb. In a few cases, the comb is partly drawn out or checkerboarded with drawn comb and un undrawn comb. Wow, look at that. We didn't, uh, we're not a minute too soon for this one. This is completed all the way out to the outer edge. Gotta get this honey super on here now or those bees will be in the trees pretty soon. So, get that super on. I should have, I would like to have done this about a week ago. Well, four or five days ago at any rate, but I've just been rushed off my feet. This, this colony is more typical. We have bees solidly on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven combs. They've been drawing this comb here 
and they're drawing this comb. So we've got three, this one, this one, and this one, which are not yet drawn out. So I'm just going to checkerboard those to get those in place. So nothing happening here. I'm going to put it in to this space where they are drawing the comb out. So look at the third one here. See lots of drawn comb on both sides there. This is going in here. I'm going to take the second one here where they are building the comb. But I'm just going to make it faster by putting it two more frames into the middle. And remember, this brood chamber is becoming a honey super now. So we're not really disrupting the brood chamber much. Any brood in here is all capped. It's coming along very nicely. process is called checkerboarding and it ensures that the bees build out the combs more completely. I'm just going to get a honey super. There's still, because I may not be here for over a week and got a nice honey flow on right now, I'm going to make sure they've got a honey super as well as that space. like front looks pretty average that looks beautiful these in every seam they're drawing this comb out nicely they're drawing this one out I can just put the super right on there no need to move any frames around that's as even as it can be Get a complete honey medium super on here. Hopefully they'll fill that up pretty soon too. Now this year we've been having a steady honey flow right through June. The big question is gonna be, will we keep the honey flow going? or will it go like last year and the year before and honey flow die a death during the month of uh, during the first week of July I'm hoping that for a change we have what used to be the normal honey flow and that is keeping the honey flow going until about the 20th of July it varies a lot from year to year and location to location but that's what we could have used to be able to rely on here in Maine. This colony has a long way to go. In fact, um, I might even look to move some brood into this hive. This hive is not really moved into here very, very well. But what I'm looking to do right now, just get extra room on the hives that need it. This one doesn't need it. frames of foundation here. As all the brood emerges in these 
in these expanded brood chambers we should be able to uh, and provided that we continue to see a honey flow we'll see these uh, frames getting built out pretty quickly but if the honey flow stops this foundation won't get touched it'll still be foundation next week if the honey flow continues this will all be drawn comb next week so stay tuned to keep an eye on what's going to happen will the honey flow continue or won't it i think i'm just going to leave this one as is close to being ready for another super, but it's not there yet. That's beautiful. I'll just move the two outside ones in. super on there. We had rain all morning, so the bees are only not really flying that much yet. got a little way to go yet as well. the signs of the bearding on the front of the hive. It's just a sign that the scouts are only just getting back with the news that there's nectar to gather and that it's not a sign that the honey flow is over. Once you start getting these bearding on the entrance of the hive during the daytime, that's when you know you've got a problem and the honey flow has come to an end. But for now, I think the honey flow is still on and we'll see what we can uh, achieve. Get any more supers on. problem of not having an inner cover on all my hives. I can feel the upper frame sticking. And it really ticks the bees off when you start lifting combs up that way. building drawn comb up to here and here even this one but we'll put this in further in the middle even got honey on this frame
signs of a honey flow. You see all that white cappings there. And they're building, building, building. This comb will still get drawn out on the edge. I mean, just look at this. It's getting drawn and filled with honey. So just, uh, just alleviate some of the pressure of the population of bees in there and get that comb built more quickly. Need a nice honey super there. <laughs> So there we go. We have extra honey supers on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen out of twenty-four. So eight are still a little way behind, and out of those eight, I would say six will be ready for honey super. Provided the honey flow continues, they'll be ready for honey super in five days time to a week. So we'll be checking this yard again within the week, seeing if they need more room. Hopefully, if I come back here during the afternoon and find that they've stopped doing this, then we'll know there's a honey flow on. If they're still doing this when it's sunny in the afternoon, well, then it means the honey flow has come to an end. Now, in this particular yard, just over beyond those trees over there, there's a farm where there's probably a hundred acres. You can just see it over there. It's about a hundred acres and they've just mowed that field and started haying it. And uh, there could be a lot, could have been a lot of forage in there. So it could have been that that brought a honey flow to an end. But around here, it's a, an industrial park. We've got lots of grass like this. And on that grass, we have lots of this sweet clover, a white clover. And what we're hoping for is to see lots of honeybees like that girl. You know, she's getting pollen and nectar. And uh, hopefully we have a honey flow, which will continue in this on the clover for some time. So there's a lot of clover around, should be around for a few more weeks. We had a bit of rain today and last night, so if we're lucky, it'll keep a clover honey flow going for a few more weeks. Don't know, last few years it stopped at this time. So uh, fingers crossed, our honey flow continues for two or three more weeks. Watch next week and find out. I'm Peter Cowan, the Bee Whisperer. See you next time.